All-Star Wrestling's ring right now is empty, but it's going to be filled with action very shortly because in our second contest of the day, we see Bob Geigel stepping into the ring on your left now, along with the referee. And coming in on the other side, Johnny Ramirez, who ran into a bit of trouble last week in his television match with Sonny Myers, and he's taking on Bob Geigel today. Feels that he'll be able to do much better. Ramirez is another former boxer. He's had plenty of ring experience and has now turned to wrestling as being more worthy of his abilities. And he carries a lot of beef, as you can see right there. The match is underway. It's a one fall or 15 minute time limit contest. One thing we forgot to tell you about the coming match with Jerry Miller and Bob Brown, it will be a one fall match with no time limit. So with the other conditions imposed on the wrestlers for that match and no time limit on the contest, it should assure the fairest match of all, and this thing will be settled for once and all, whether or not it's Jerry Miller or Bob Brown, the better of the two. Of course, each man is convinced that he is. The wrestling fans have their own ideas about it. Rammer has left his rope on, or his uh, robe on the ropes and the referee just went over and moved the rope, robe, can't say it, robe outside the ring so that it wouldn't be in their way. And Bob Geigel has had trouble in the last couple of weeks defending against this headlock. is using it to good advantage today on Johnny Ramirez. Ramirez trying to get the attention of the referee. Oops. You probably hear that over the studio microphone here. Watch the ear, watch the ear. It's Geigel Holland for help from the referee. Geigel likes to keep up a running comment between his opponent, the referee, and the fans, talking all the time. It's seldom that we can catch any of his comments over here, what with the activity and the noise in the studio. likes to taunt his opponent and perhaps goad him into doing something that he'll be sorry for later. Little love patch there on top of Geigel's head. Ramirez looked like he was taking aim and then before he got a chance to deliver the heel of the hand, the referee came into view. Hair pulling from Geigel. Ramirez objecting. Well, that arm bar is a vicious thing. You can break a man's arm at the elbow if you don't watch your tension. And Bob Geigel is one of these fellows who's not about to watch the tension. He could care less. The fans have adopted a name for Bob Geigel that he doesn't like at all. When Geigel gets into the ring, they like to call him the Harry Eight. And any of you who remember the old motion picture with William Bendix, the Harry Eight, can maybe remember why they call him that. You may be able to see it on your television screen. Those aren't flies all over his back. But there's not much hair there to grab. Oh, I see. He had a hold of his ear again. Geigel upset at the referee now for not calling it as he thought it should be called. <laughs> referee counting him away from the ropes. Geigel likes to use those ropes. 
He's built several of his favorite holes around the extra leverage afforded by the ropes, and he can do a lot of damage before he's counted away from them, and he knows it full well. And it's an important part of his wrestling strategy. Same thing. Now Ramirez's arm apparently has been damaged to the extent had difficulty extracting it or extricating it from the ropes. Johnny Ramirez worried again about that nose that caused him so much trouble last week. Geigel was here at the time. And fans who saw what happened when Sonny Myers landed a blow to Ramirez's nose. And the resulting bloodbath in this studio ring are aware that Ramirez gets a bloody nose very easily. Geigel trying to get it started here. And Ramirez in trouble. He's going to have to lick that problem. I don't know whether the doctor would be able to help him out any with that or not. Well, it looks as if it hasn't slowed him down very much. As now it's Geigel on the run. Some of the fans here in the studio are getting very excited. Having difficulty keeping him away from the ring. Nobody likes to see a man injured in the ring, whether it's a prize fight or a wrestling match. Combat, yes, that's the sport of it. But these injuries, that's something else again. And Geigel with one of the meanest dispositions we've encountered, is just the type fella to take advantage of it. Another fan being directed back to her seat there, got just a little bit too carried away. And now Ramirez knows he's going to have to stay on the attack and keep Geigel away from that hit. from the floor and that one dropped Bob Geigel to his knees. Uh, sir, you'll have to sit down. Sir, you'll have to keep your seat, sir. Having a little difficulty with one of the fans here right behind me. Getting carried away. He was trying to be helpful there and throw the towel up to Johnny Ramirez. Square on the turnbuckle. Uh, it looks as if that's what Geigel was aiming for. And some of the wrestling fans becoming increasingly upset by the obvious condition of Johnny Ramirez right now. Want to prevent any further injuries? Of course, Ramirez is. Working himself with those forearm blows to prevent any further damage. Hey, hey, hey. And you can see the referee's attitude. Sir, you'll have to close hey. it. Try it down this minute, please. You can see the referee's attitude on it. He doesn't like what's happening in the ring. And feeling that things have been a bit biased in favor of Bob Geigel. He's giving Johnny Ramirez the benefit of the doubt on the rules. He didn't even make an attempt to get over there in that corner and break them in when Ramirez had Geigel against the ropes. And legally, he would have had to break that hold. Ramirez really in trouble. 
Geigel drops him, almost just rolls him over on. Oh! Onto his back. Ouch! Knee to the chest, and here he comes hey, off the hey. ropes. Oh! His man moved out of the way that time. Threw his timing off a little. And Geigel used that knee again as if to say, stay there till I come back. And here he goes off the ropes. Wow! And he landed that time, and Johnny Ramirez flapping. Powerless to avoid the three count, and this match is over. Geigel won't leave his man alone. The time on the match was nine, no, ten minutes. Nine minutes and 48 seconds. John Baker, our timekeeper. And man at the bell. Johnny Rammer is recovering himself. You can't see. Now, the gentleman behind me, the butt of some of Geigel's remarks. The fan has been not abusive at all. Bob Geigel seems to be taking exception to him. And he better watch his step. This man packs a lot of weight. Sit down, sir. Pardon me. Now it's Geigel and Ramirez. Referee Moody trying to clear the ring. Geigel flexing his muscles. Emerging victorious in this contest against Johnny Ramirez. Ramirez's condition does not look too good. 